Mugabe and the platinum miners have been on a collision course ever since the veteran leader insisted that the precious metal be processed in Zimbabwe and miners argued that they had not yet achieved an economically viable output. Now, Mugabe has said unless a refinery is built within two years, his government would ban exports. He is also calling for an audit of all revenue amidst concerns the government may have been prejudiced. Externalization, no. We want our money back. When we sell our materials, whether they are raw or not raw, outside, the earnings must come back. And we will have to look now at what has been happening. This is a further blow for platinum miners who had hoped they could be given a special dispensation under Zimbabwe's indigenization laws if they put up a refinery. Last week, Mugabe said no company is exempt from the 51% majority requirement. The veteran leader presented his party's voluminous five-year economic blueprint dubbed Zimbabwe Agenda for Sustainable Socio-Economic Transformation, Zim Asset. It is centered on four pillars, namely food security, social services, infrastructure and value addition. As predicted, Mugabe steered clear of the internal battle to succeed him, calling instead for the party to deliver on its campaign promises or risk losing the next elections and being forced into another coalition government which he likened to hell. The conference, being held in Mashonaland West Province, a traditional ZANU-PF stronghold, ends Sunday. Farang Wakutuya, CCTV, Chinoi, Zimbabwe.